Hey everybody, welcome to a late night grocery haul. I haven't done one of these in a long time because I've been going and doing my grocery shopping quite late at night. Um, I don't know, it's just the way it's been working lately. So when we get home, I usually just put everything away and just go on with my evening because it is like almost nine o'clock at night. Um, I found this to be the most efficient time so it doesn't take up like an afternoon on a weekend or something when I go grocery shopping. So I thought today since I had to get, you know, a decent amount of groceries that I would film one of these finally. So welcome to a Costco and Sobeys Canadian grocery haul feeding a family of four. I have a pretty decent pantry and freezer stash. It's not quite as good as it will be in the summer when the garden is thriving and growing. Um, I get a lot of things from like farmer's market and farms so that's why you're not going to see a ton of meat or anything we often will get like half a cow or something with the family and we've currently got that going on right now so that's why you don't see a ton of meat uh just as a little heads up to how we provide food for our family so let's start over here a lot of this costco you even go to costco if you don't get a baked good so we got some apple strudels apple i said that weird um mangoes Mangoes are expensive, but I will always buy them because they are one of my favorite fruits. Um, some bananas. I don't get bananas from Costco. I get these from Sobeys because I don't know. I don't like when they come in the bag and they're always too green. Tomatoes. Just some cherry tomatoes. We use these for like um, salads and tacos and things like that. I am trying to do more in-season fruit. So we got some pears. And we skipped the berries this week because I have a bunch of frozen berries. Um, some cucumbers some green beans, celery. I'm gonna be doing like whole roast chickens and bone broths and chicken soup and stuff. And my son absolutely loves to just eat celery. So a big bag of celery was definitely needed. And it's only $4 at Costco, so. Um, some baby carrots. We go through a ton of carrots, both cooked. I eat like a raw carrot salad every day. So that is super important. So I'm just stocking up on, on on some carrots, let's finish, I guess, the produce. I Costco has not had lettuce for a long time. Normally I get the big things of Costco lettuce. I usually get one or two because we have guinea pigs. And so they, they eat like a cup of lettuce each every day. Um, so I just picked up this really tiny, pathetic little lettuce because I'm growing lettuce. So, and this is a live lettuce so I can plant it and hopefully it will just give us more. Otherwise I'm gonna have to keep going to the store. Picked up some onions to add to the onion stash. Um, those are from Sobeys. I got some butter from Costco. I just pick up like two every time I go and I put some in the freezer, some in the fridge. I bake a lot, so we go through a lot of butter. Um, I got some diced tomatoes for spaghetti sauce. I was running a little bit low. My husband and kids love, love cream corn, so we got those. They also really like this, like peaches and cream corn. I prefer to get like a big bag of organic corn, but you know what? We're not gonna win every battle. So I got some cheese from Costco. Okay, so some cheese from Costco. And this is, I got these for the first time. Um, these Greenfield Natural Sausage Rounds. I wanted something that was like an easier protein to grab for breakfast that's not bacon or something because I don't wanna eat bacon every day and bacon is messy. Um, so I got these sausage rounds. They're decent. So we picked up these to try them. I think my husband has had these before and said they were good, but I don't remember having them. Um, I got some basil pesto. I love this stuff from Costco and it doesn't last super long like if you're not gonna eat a bunch of it. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use it and then that same day I will freeze some of it in ice cube trays or maybe muffin tins and just pop them into a bag so that I can just add pesto to chicken or pasta in the future. Was that a vanilla? Vanilla is so expensive here. <laughs> um, so I just got like random okay-ish vanilla from Costco because it's pretty, it's a pretty good price at Costco. Um, some yogurt, we got three of these, some just plain Greek yogurt. We do granola bowls and stuff like that. Um, once in a while I will buy lunch meat, but for my husband, for work, and sometimes the kids like to eat lunch meat sandwiches, so it's not my favorite thing to buy, but Costco had a good price. And then to Costco chocolate milks. This is my husband's favorite brand of chocolate milk, the Beatrice one. Um, and this is the season where we host a lot of play dates. Friends start to come over, so a kid-friendly thing like chocolate milk helps me 
appease the neighborhood crowds without spending a fortune because we buy um, whole Jersey grass-fed milk from a like health food store in town and it is uh, just too expensive to be to be given out to the neighborhood children <laughs> but also the kids in Cody really like this so whatever okay that was the table haul now we're gonna move over here we got this big bag of potatoes from Costco we go through a lot of potatoes um, a fourth thing of pulp-free orange juice we go through a lot of orange juice. I bought a thing of Itchy Band. This is my daughter's favorite, like junk food kind of snack meal. Um, so every once in a while, I will buy another flat of Itchy Band from Costco. I got a big case of oranges. Again, trying to keep the fruit seasonal. Um, so a big case of oranges for the mornings. Got some flour, a big thing of flour. I would like to buy organic flour, but it has the exact same stuff in it. It sucks. They put I fortify everything with like iron and stuff here. It's it, it's awful. Got some paper towel, um, some hot dog buns because we have some hot dogs in the fridge. It's warm, and the kids and I mean honestly us too. We like to do uh, fire pit hot dogs every once in a while. Um, got some bread. I don't normally buy bread. You guys know that I make sourdough every single day. However, the kids requested some sandwich bread so I just bought some at Costco I will freeze the rest and just pull out what we need so that nothing goes to waste this could last months or they could go through it quicker just depends and then also my most recent kind of lazy grocery hack is I bought two rotisserie chickens what I like to do especially when we're going to be really busy I do have like a whole um you know wonderful beautiful antibiotic free like good free range chicken in the freezer but I need to defrost it in the fridge for a couple of days and it takes more time to process and cook that so um, I do enjoy Kirkland uh, rotisserie chickens they're really easy so what I'll do what I do is I buy a couple at a time I take them apart completely so tomorrow I'll take them apart and I put them in individual portions and I freeze them um, so I'll do like a portion of just drumsticks and so one meal I'll take out drumsticks and we'll have drumsticks and potatoes and vegetables for, for dinner that night. Um, and then I will put the, <laughs> that's my bird. I'll put both carcasses together and make a big fat of bone broth. Is it the best bones? No. Is it still better than like a store bought carton bone broth? Absolutely. Hi, Sam. Sorry, my, I've been gone, so my bird is calling me. Um, so that's a really cheap way to feed your family for a little bit longer that I found really good in these hard times is to buy some rotisserie Costco chickens, pull them apart, freeze the portions. They, defer, they thaw really, really fast. So I like to make stir fry um, fried rice with the um, rotisserie chicken. Sometimes we'll just take them out, like I said, and just do like all the drumsticks and I'll just fry them up and we'll eat them like a meal, like a chicken dinner meal. I'll, I'll use the broth that I make and whip up a gravy things like that. So it goes a long way, especially if you use the bones to make a broth. Afterwards, it actually makes a really decent bone broth. I was surprised. Um, so yeah, that's our grocery haul for this week. We, I guess, right, you guys like to know what people spend, right? Um, so this was probably the first time that we stayed really well on budget, actually. Um, and we spent $300 total, I think exactly almost. Like we stayed really, really close to that. Um, that's what $300 will get you in Canada and Alberta. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a lot for how much that was. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh, we also bought water. Um, so that's, I mean, that's cheap, but, but that's, that's in there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little grocery haul. If you want to see more of these in the future, then click the thumbs up button and remind me in the comments below to please film more of these if you did enjoy them. And I will do my best to film when I get home from grocery shopping. So I can't wait until a lot of this is grown by me. <laughs> that will be nice. But until next time, we'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. I'm going to go to bed.